Hey there lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 3 a.m. here right now in Dhaka. As you can see, I'm dressed a little bit weird in the middle of uh, not really winter. It's uh, almost November here, end of October. We can almost sniff that winter is around the corner and I've been doing a lot of videos uh, regarding this winter because this is the most exciting time for me of the year. I love cooler weather even though we don't get that much cold for, uh, weather but we love to enjoy this two three months so what i'm going to do today is uh, as you can see i'm also wearing a leather belt watch uh, which is the day date of casio and also i'm putting on this jacket it's not real leather jacket you know i admit it <laughs> but i got this like last year couldn't wear it that much it was not that cold but uh, i plan to do uh, 15 fragrances for you uh, with a leather jacket theme kind of like bad boy vibe and not everything has really have to be leather you know like leather or uh, dominated some fragrances can be a little bit different uh, but on most part spicy sweet sexy loud you know daring bad boy sort of image that's what you're gonna do and see today i have reviewed all these fragrances tomorrow i'll do some individual reviews but just one list today okay so i'll start with uh, one honorable mention and this fragrance is honorable mention because this particular formulation you cannot find it anymore this one i have one more instead which you can find it but i think uh, that one it's uh, also expensive but this is the honorable mention it's called valentino vumo intense such a stunning beauty I was, with, I was a witness when this was came out. This was hyped by all the channels, the chocolatey aspect of it, the irisy aspect, as well as some dark tone, you know, like a sweet, sexy, leather sort of vibe. And what a beauty this was. Now it's still available, but I think it's toned down a little bit. But, you know, I'll still say, check it out. Valentino Mo Intense, one of the best fragrances for winter. So uh, let's go one by one. Number 15 all the way to number one. Number 15 I'll start with. A uh, fragrance that is affordable. Nowadays, people say cannot find it. I don't know why. One man show Oud edition. Uh, this was uh, one of my, how to say, first reviews ever. I think I was the first one to review this, and people actually discovered it and reviewed it. Extremely potent fragrance. This got Oud, really sweet, uh, spicy notes, as well as some leather. Uh, so it's kind of like a synthetic side people complain but to those who complain about its syntheticness, also look at the price tag, okay? You have to be a little bit little bit considerate right for the price point that you're getting this for like Rastasi Shura I could have put but I'm putting this one perhaps I'll do episode two Shura will make that but one man show Oud edition what a stunning beauty you know because a lot of amber a lot of sweetness a lot of uh, you know like in winter you need performance from leather jacket I think this would be one real good choice if you like this kind of fragrance this is, for me this is the best from this house so far okay one man show Oud edition number 14 I think this fragrance is getting a little bit hard to find it's called John Barbados Dark Rebel Rider. So this one, perhaps in this whole list, is a little bit not beast mode, okay? I admit it, this never got me more than two to three hours. So uh, I still wear this in winter. As you can tell from the bottle, it has a little bit of theme going on, right? A little bit bad boy, biker boys, you know? A little bit of that leather jacket. Man, I look like fluffy in <laughs> this jacket. I'm about to jump like parachute or something. Anyway, Dark Rebel Rider is spicy. It's kind of smoky, I think, got leather. Uh, this fragrance is so unique you know like when i uh, i had to have this fragrance like look at that bottle this is awesome so when i had this you know this perfume i only wear this in winter and i save the sprays for colder months i have about good amount of juice left in this but john barbados really is a lot of gems this is one of them okay just the smell is just beautiful one of the best designer perfumes ever john barbados dark rebel rider sort of like a devilish thing going on right there okay so next one i don't know why this is way down the order but anyway this is one of the best fragrance recent time this is called one million Elix elixir by paco Rabanne. uh what a beautiful fragrance this one is you know like uh, like if you like sweet perfumes you know gourmandish fresh you know like a little bit of uh, of everything a little bit of nuttiness a little bit of sweetness uh vanilla you know uh, excellent longevity like if you have a brown sort of a leather jacket this one will go beautiful with it so the thing is it will be good for dating for those guys especially young guys riding bikes you know girls like that you know when we were young uh, i we used to notice that you know like our university college girls like they used to like guys like you know who drive a sports car or a bike or something you know sometimes they would go for dating and clubbing and stuff this fragrance actually would be good for youthful people okay so one million elixir by paco Rabanne, excellent fragrance to go with your uh, leather jacket uh, and bike perhaps okay next one 
this is true and true uh, bad boy fragrance okay and it's a little bit serious because it's very very strong this is carolina herrera bad boy le parfum okay not the original bad boy original bad boy is okay just it's not mediocre but it's the fragrance not everybody appreciates this one if you want to live on the edge if you want to take like let's say you like moschino toy boy if you like gucci guilty absolutely you're gonna love this okay just breaking the character <laughs> or something like that for you this is amazing fragrance you know it definitely has a grape soda vibe then it has like a little bit of a green vibe if you know leafy tone but then man this fragrance projects if you know some of the nishane perfumes karagos this definitely is a designer version of it amazing underrated fragrance and definitely dark theme for winter bad boy le parfum by carolina herrera after that let's hit and the heavy hitter this is definitely one of my favorites it's a al haramain's one of the solid releases i haven't reviewed everything from them but al haramain amberud tobacco edition i think yeah this fragrance man this one right here tobacco veni in a bottle and more okay the price that you get this for the presentation don't even bother wondering what this is you know you just go and sniff it if you like it get it because this is going to get you that performance man it got that vanilla it got the spices it's sweet it's at the same time it's very beastly it projects a lot some people say it did not get beast mode maybe different batches reformulation i don't know a lot of things can happen my bottle right here just take a look at the juice color okay if you like pure heaven kind of bottle nexos this the juice color reminds me of that but man i never gonna buy tom ford tobacco veni because of this beauty okay i have few more clones but this one is just top of the line okay amazing fragrance to wear with your leather jacket tom al haramain amberud tobacco edition beautiful perfume next one i think this is discontinued sadly and i feel this fragrance should they should bring it back and make it 200 ml this is prada loam intense okay um i should have bought like three four backup bottles this one and spice bomb extreme which did not make the list this one did that one will be featured in another video the best thing about prada loam intense is just how much more amplified this is compared to the original and the other flankers darkness uh leather iris patchouli man this one is just like prada loam but with a lot of character you know it's like you can wear this people will notice you it's really really strong excellent performance eight hours to ten easy you know from this perfume people smell you because you project a lot if you especially have two spritz on your neck people will smell you excellent fragrance i feel clean and fresh at the same time a little bit of aqua di profumo vibe going on but such a stunner uh, one of the best prada I ever produced prada loam intense then you'll see number one and this one will really surprise you because this review is about this list is about emotion uh, this perfume i wore it a lot i think i'm holding the newer batch here uh, after reformulation but i used to have the first formulation which uh, is much darker in juice color this is called ch man Privé. okay carolina herrera once again such a bad boy perfume you know i love ch man but this i adore okay ch man Privé is such a bad boy perfume you know it has that plum or certain fruits note in the opening which is very very uh, exotic and it has wh sweet whiskey like just like pure malt man i love sniffing this dna in the opening this is like a perfection 10 out of 10 opening if the the dry down falls a little bit flat with that animalic leather tone sometimes it can be a little bit bothering but you know ch man preview man if you want to go to a date if you're wearing leather jacket and you just want to impress her you know like your girlfriend or even someone you want to see for first time this fragrance will actually be a very big confidence booster okay that's what i feel this is why i put this here okay a lot of memories with ch man preview get a bottle before they discontinue this or something you know that's that's a sad thing that's going on then let's bring up something new i think this fragrance it's like experimental to put this in this list because this one doesn't have that much leather but this one has oud this one has sweetness a lot of uh, other stuff that stronger with you line have this called stronger with you oud so this one and then at the back i have stronger with you there uh, leather the leather one i did not show for a reason uh, I prefer this one. This is a little bit more wearable. The leather one is so sweet. It's like top of the like top of the line sweet. Uh, but this one, it does a little bit different. You know, like the oud makes it a little bit variation. It keeps you wondering. You know, like oh, what am I smelling? Is it too sweet? No, perhaps not. Is it too playful? No. Is it too serious? No. The perfect balance. You know, this is what's the most balanced one. Even though the leather one is more uh, animalic and more, I would say long lasting this is true uh, beauty okay um yeah just give it give it a try you know the beautiful vanilla dry down will really capture you and i think this is such a romantic fragrance okay to be honest 
are money stronger with you oud then one of the best leather fragrances for men ever i think every man must own this perfume at some point of their life this is called dior's fahrenheit dior you know perhaps dior is one of the best designer houses no doubt but this is perhaps this and my one more are my two most favorite dior fragrances okay i'll show you the next one very soon fahrenheit I have, i'm holding like 2012 bottle okay 12 or 10 the older batches this one man the gasoline vibe opening and then the florals the violet leaves uh the leather if you do have a leather jacket you must own fahrenheit that's it check out mark rob 08's uh review on this one my most favorite review this one definitely has like other fahrenheit flankers like fahrenheit le parfum i have almost all of them but this one remains my favorite okay uh dior's fahrenheit try to get a bit older batch that would be really really good one of the best perfect fragrances of all time next one also a little bit newer uh, i got this last year i think and this is such a good fragrance to like own confidence booster bad boy vibe excel longevity got some oud i think in this leather spices a lot of things going on philip plain no limits you know i keep showing this i just love this perfume man awesome bottle and the smell man something it's like magical about this perfume it creates like a total different vibe okay uh, this one has its own character some people say it's similar to gucci guilty absolute or something yeah maybe similar vibes but this is more wearable than that and more available and this bottle you want to own such a you know i'll show you something i'll show you something okay before i move on they gave me these as tester strips and i just got some of them just to keep them as memory i think this is not for the oh yeah this is for no limits okay there you go and there's all one more with the skull uh, i don't know i don't remember the other one name but such a cool house cool concept okay no limit play philip plain so now top 5 heavy eaters okay parfum de marly kalan uh, this one i thought about it i'm like should i put this in this list or i i have some other ones like leighton i can put like bentley for many intense or godolphin which are all good this one it's a uh, man this bottle i am touching it in a wrong way <laughs> I'm in a good mood, right? This is a bit too spicy for some people's liking. Some people say it's Baccarat Rouge inspired. Plus, perhaps you know I have Instant Crush, which is sweeter than this. But the spicy notes in this, this is what makes it that champion. You know, this fragrance DNA makes it a champion DNA. This one lasts like on your clothes; it will last like three days. Okay, Parfum de Marly. Some people say it's an overrated house. I do not agree. This is my personal viewpoint. most of the perfume de marlis they are excellent fragrances you know sometimes at first i thought they are a bit overrated like i had some of them then i sold off you know then i regretted that okay so perfume de marli definitely the fresher ones the darker ones this one kalan be a little bit patient okay you may not like it at first it be too challenging for you too strong but trust me you will fall in love with this perfume once you wear this in cold weathers amazing longevity i think this one has blood orange or something like that uh it's written because of the test on yeah a test on it yeah this one has blood orange and then you know the other thing that i mentioned orange blossom and stuff it does smell a little bit like baccarat rouge in the opening but that one goes away and then you remain with this awesome dry down i think this would be a good uh winter fragrance with leather jacket parfum de marly kalan number 4 by the fireplace uh look at the juice color need i uh, do i need to say more you know <laughs> um I think this is my most favorite fragrance from this house. I reviewed a lot of them. Uh, just smoky, a uh, little bit like burning woods, you know, spices, a little bit sweetness, bees mode. You have to get this fragrance. It's expensive, it's going to cost you money, but you know, we buy a lot of other stuff. This is a fragrance worth collecting. Buy the fireplace by Mason Martin Marchial. Check out my review, you'll understand why I put it so high up in the order. Number 3. the reason why none of its clones are here this is the og this is the big boss this is the one tom ford that i really wanted badly this is called tuscan leather if you have tuscan leather and you have a leather jacket and you have a bike uh, you are the alpha male it's safe to say that uh, because many of you will echo the sentiment with me the reason being tuscan leather is such an such a fragrance you know of epic proportions you know i do love many of the tom fords like black orchid would be another good choice then noir de noir great fragrance but something about tuscan leather since my beginning of journey i was in love with this perfume uh you can get layu kompurong which is not much more affordable but tuscan leather is tuscan leather the leather that you get from this hard to beat okay 
excellent longevity, particularly for colder months. Tom Ford Tuscan leather. Okay, number two, what I prefer more than those other ones. I'm gonna show some big ones, like you know, this is this is my list, okay. This is called um, African leather by Memo Perry, okay. Um, I want to get a few more from this line. I have tried some of them recent times. I'm waiting for the prices to go down a little bit because they're extremely expensive. If you can get a tester, it's gonna cost you a little bit less money, but still two hundred dollars plus for eighty or ninety mil. How much is this? This is seventy five mil, okay. Some of you may not feel comfy, like uh, you know, I'm just dashing out a little bit more, you know, from my wallet. It's worth that money. Cardamom, spices, sometimes leather, sometimes amber. I'm not sure about the leather, but it evokes a feel of the spicy uh, leather jacket, okay? I don't know, whatever that means. This is a stunner of a fragrance, okay? Uh, this is called African Leather by Memo Perry. Leads me to number one. What is that number one that Dior was talking about? Definitely, you guys know what's coming up. And uh, if you don't have this, okay, you can have the best fragrance of all time, Diorum Intense, okay? Uh, not just because I'm saying it from my personal sentiments. Uh, I have grown to love fragrances because of this perfume, you know, many ways, you know. Uh, it's just uh, the times that I had this perfume, the places that I went to, the, where I reviewed it from, so many years of love, okay? Diorum Intense, any occasion, anywhere, you put Diorum Intense, you are king. That's it, end of story, okay? Number one fragrance today is Diorum Intense. I have to get a backup bottle now. Uh, this is the best fragrance for me in my world. It rocks my world, okay? I think with that, this leather jacket, if you have a nice leather jacket and Durham Intense, nice watch, nice uh, car, you know, the deal is sealed. Whatever deal, don't ask me, <laughs> okay? Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll do some more videos like this in upcoming winter. And thanks so much for watching. And thanks for all your support. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.